When discussing mobile cellular networks, the term handover is very common. So what is a handover? Well, in this basic example, I've got a base station. For this example, I'm going to say it's a 5G base station, but it could be a 4G or a 3G or a 2G base station. And what we're talking about here is a handover. Therefore, we need to involve a mobile device. So you can see there, I've got my mobile. And from that particular base station, we have a certain cell, a coverage area. And the idea is that particular mobile, because it's quite close to the base station, typically you'd be expecting a strong signal, so five bars on your phone, for example. And as you move further away from the base station, the number of bars goes down, the signal strength starts to reduce. Now, when we start describing the term handover, it's all about handing over from one cell to another. And to do that, that means you must have a connection to a particular cell site. So in this case, I've got a connection to this particular base station. And as I move around that cell, I'm maintaining that connection. And as I get towards the edge of the cell, you can see the signal strength has now gone right down in this example to maybe two bars, one bar. And at that point, we need to think about what, what happens next? Do we just try and maintain the connection and the device just drops off the cell and we drop the call or the session? Or do we hand it over to another cell site? So as part of the radio planning within a service provider's network, we will have cells and the key thing is they need a certain amount of overlap to give you time to hand over from one cell to the next. And that particular cell will have similar signal levels getting stronger as you go towards it. So as we hand over the mobile, the connection is gonna be moved to this other target base station in this case, and we can then maintain the connection within that cell. We have performed a handover. So typically a handover is you break the connection from your own cell and you then establish a connection to a new cell. So usually the term hard handover is utilized. Now it's worth pointing out, whilst on a base station, base stations have multiple frequencies, so number of channels, a bit like your car radio, different channels. So the idea is you might find that you actually hand over between the different channels or radio elements on that particular base station as well. And they could have different cell sizes footprints. Now the reason we do that is for capacity reasons. So there's different types of handover. We also need to think about 4G. So potentially we might be on a 4G network, we might be on a 5G network. We could find ourselves moving between the 4G and the 5G, in which case we have to do handovers to and from our uh, 5G network to our 4G network and vice versa potentially. So just be mindful that we do have mobility-based scenarios. Again, linking into the term handover. So as you're driving or cycling or walking, you'll find you are in a call, for example, or in a data session. And as you're moving through the various cells, the idea is the cells will effectively hand you over. And that could be in a small cell environment, for example, cycling down the road, and you could find you're in a call and it's been handed over as you effectively go from a particular cell footprint to the next cell footprint.